Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to another edition of Cool Puzzles. This channel is the channel where you're going to find hundreds of cool and mind-blowing puzzles. And we are still only at puzzle number three. I've done two episodes before this. Go and check it out. This is the third one and we're going to have lots and lots of puzzles now. And this one is titled Three Hats. Yes, the first one was 10 hats and this one is three hats. It's a similar type of question but very very different from the first one. So as the norm is in this particular series, I would want you to pause the video after you listen to the puzzle completely. Pause the video, work it out, take as much time as you want and then when you feel that you've arrived at some kind of a solution or you feel that you've exhausted your efforts and you still haven't figured out what is happening, come back and view the answer. So once you play back the video from that very moment when you paused it, you'll first hear me telling you the answer. And then I'm going to pause it again, ask you to pause this again, pause them again and if your answer was correct, go and see the explanation. If your answer was wrong or you couldn't get the answer, have a look at it once again, think about it again and see now if you can figure out the answer and later on play it back to see the explanation. So let's jump in into the puzzle number three in Cool Puzzles and this is called Three Hearts. Three prisoners are made to stand one behind the other in increasing order of height. The shortest is in the front and the tallest at the back, all facing forward. The tallest can see the head of the first two, the middle one can see the head of the shortest, while the shortest cannot see anybody's head. So this is very similar to the first puzzle I said. Now here are only three people and they are standing in increasing order of height. And the first guy facing forward is the shortest. He cannot see anybody's head. The second guy behind the first one facing forward can see the head of the first one, the shortest guy. And the tallest guy standing right at the end can see the head of the second and the first guy. And But remember, they cannot see their own head. The judge has a basket containing three red and two blue hats. The three prisoners are told this. Unseen by the three prisoners, the judge picks three hats in random and places one on top of the head of each of the prisoners. So we have a judge here again, the same situation. Judge and probably he wants to free the prisoners and see who will answer it correctly. And what he does, he has a basket of three red and two blue hats. He tells the three prisoners that I've got three red and two blue hats. Then he picks three hats in random. And unseen by the three people, he places one hat on top of the head of each of the prisoner. Remember, the last one can see the head of the first two. The second one can see the head of the first one. They cannot turn back or they cannot see their own hat. Each prisoner is asked the color of his hat, starting from the tallest one. They cannot talk to each other, make any other sound, change their pitch, etc. They only have to say red or blue in normal tone. Now this case is different from the first puzzle. In this one what happens is that they are not allowed to confer among themselves, number one. And they are told you cannot raise your pitch or decrease your pitch while answering. You will answer in a monotonous voice, blue or red. And they will be asked the color of their hat and the tallest will be asked first and then proceed towards the first one. And here it is independent. Whoever gets it right is able to come out. But remember, if they get it wrong, they will never leave the prison again. So they just cannot afford. It is better not to answer wrongly. It is better not to answer at all than answer wrongly. So that is one problem they all have. And whoever gets it right gets to walk free. So as you can see, there are three guys standing, one behind the other, tallest at the end, middle one at the, at the second position and the first position is the shortest guy. When the tallest is asked the color of his hat, he says, I don't know. When the middle prisoner is asked the color of his hat, he also says, I don't know. When the shortest prisoner is asked the color of his hat, he is able to give the correct answer. What was the color of his hat and how did he know? Now, the tallest is asked first, what is the color of your hat? He says, I don't know. I don't know what the color of my hat is. Because he doesn't want to get it wrong because he knows that probably he'll be freed in the next three or five years. And if he gets it wrong, he's going to spend the entire life in prison. So it is better to get it not answer at all, then get it wrong. And therefore he says, I don't know. The second guy, what is the color of your hat? He says, I don't know. 
and remember these are the two people who can see the head of the people standing in front of them the third guy can see the head of the first two second guy can see the head of the first one and the first guy who has not seen anybody's head is able to answer his color of the hat correctly so the question is what was the color of his hat and how did he figure this out at this moment you will see a caption pause now so you got to pause now and go and work out this problem come back after you have solved it or after having spent sufficient time in figuring this out so let's pause now welcome back so first of all i'm going to give you the answer and let's see the answer and then again pause so that you will be able to figure out the reason even if you could not figure out the correct answer well it goes like this these are the three guys remember the last guy was asked he said i don't know second guy asked i don't know and the first guy said the correct color of his hat and that was red so the answer to the question is the first guy said red but i'm not giving you the explanation right now it's only the answer pause again go back figure this out and once you have done enough working come back and see the explanation welcome back again so now let's understand what was the explanation that made the first guy say the color of it has correctly now remember this guy and this guy and this guy all the three know there are three red and two blue hats right now if this guy had seen two blue hats in front of him knowing that there are only two blue and three red had he seen both of them wearing blue he would have immediately said mine is red because if the first two guys are wearing blue there's no other option he has to be wearing red so he wouldn't have had a problem he would have said mine is red and the best part is if the last guy had said mine is red after having seen two blue the second and the first guy would also be able to answer it correctly because they would know that unless and until we both are blue that guy could not have said red so both would know there is a blue but the fact is he said i don't know so what do you think he must have seen he definitely must not have seen two blue so what are the options either he saw one blue and one red or he saw both red now this guy heard this guy say i don't know so he also knows that both of us are not wearing blue either one is wearing blue and one is red or both are red now had this guy seen a blue on this guy's head he would have surely known mine is red because the options are one blue one red or two red now had he seen a blue the only option that he has now is red but he must not have seen blue because had he seen blue he would have said red but he said i don't know so what do you think he must have seen he must have seen red because had this been red he could have been either blue or red and therefore he wouldn't know and that's why he says i don't know so the moment he says i don't know this guy knows mine is red because i could not have been blue had i been blue this guy would have said red this guy said i don't know and i said therefore red i hope you understood the explanation the last guy did not see two blue he saw either one red and one blue or two blue so he said i don't know the second guy had he seen a blue in front of him he would have said mine is red there are only one option if the first guy is blue but he also said i don't know which automatically means he must have seen a red because after having seen a red he might not have been sure whether i am blue or i am red and that would give the clue to the first guy who says the color of his hat correctly even though he has not seen anybody's head i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i loved making it and i also hope you understood the explanation if you didn't please go back and watch the video again if you have any comments suggestions or any puzzles that you have that you would want me to take up in this channel please put that in the comment section below with that this is kalyan kumar signing off have a great day goodbye and thank you for watching if you find the videos of this channel interesting and useful then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button just below the video and once you subscribe you will see a bell icon this is for notifications if you want to receive notifications of all videos posted in this channel right on time then go ahead and click this bell icon and make sure that you check this box which says send me all notifications for this channel hit save now you are subscribed to this channel and you will receive all notifications 
of videos posted in this channel right on time. And if you found this video interesting and you like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button.